All right, people, what's up? So is it even possible to pick the perfect Linux desktop for any year because, because there are so many choices? Well, I think it is possible, and I think it's necessary at least for beginners because if you don't give them at least a couple, two, three choices, uh, you don't know what they will try to install. Maybe something that is not for beginners. They may not know about it. They will give up and they will incorrectly say that Linux is no good. Before I give you my pick, uh, let me give you a brief background on TotalOS today. I first got exposed to Linux quite by accident. I was looking at a science magazine and the article said something like, hey, try Ubuntu or something like that. Well, I did, and then my first thought was, man, this thing is super fast, but couldn't really say at the time it was beginner friendly. Um, I don't think any Linux was beginner friendly at that time, at least not that I'm aware of. Anyway, to make a long story short, my other favorite after that was Linux Mint, and then Zorn, and in between I've tried countless Linux distributions, mostly, most of them really weren't very good, at least not for beginners. Around 2009, 2010, I was searching the web to get information about Linux versus Windows or Linux and how it compares to Windows. I couldn't get a straight answer, at least not at the time. Let me give you an example. If all you use is Linux, of course you will say Linux is the best. If all you use is Windows, of course you will say Windows is the best. This, this may sound funny, but I wanted a Windows user to tell me just how good Linux is or just how bad it is or something in between. I wanted a no-nonsense approach to technology. Call it as you see it in a neutral way, unbiased as possible. At the time, it just wasn't there. So I thought, what the heck, I'll do it myself. I like what I saw. I like the way Linux was progressing. I thought to myself, I'll do it. I will take the time, the countless hours to experiment with different type of Linux distributions, experimenting, installing, deleting, positive, negative versus back and forth. And hence Total OS Today was born. Total technology for beginners because we all start somewhere. This is basically a beginner slash newbie slash dummies channel designed for people who need a starting point. And I say those terms with the most friendship and respect that I can possibly give you. So today, last year I picked as the perfect Linux desktop for 2012 Zorn. Zorn is still good. I still like it. I believe the latest version is 7.1. There are different versions of Zorn. If you want something faster, you may want to check out a Zorin Lite, which is very good. But for 2013, I am picking Linux Mint. Lin Linux Mint has always been one of my favorites. It's always been very good for beginners, but I'm going to pick Linux Mint XFCE. The latest version as of this recording is Linux Mint 15 XFCE. Now there are different versions here that you can pick such as KDE. But for beginners, pick XFCE if, you will, if you're going to try Linux Mint 15. Uh, I installed this back when it was last released back in May, I think. I can't remember in one of my uh, older laptops. And I normally don't recommend non-LTS releases. If, if you have no clue what that means, a Linux distribution labeled as LTS means long-term support. Those type of Linux tend to be a little bit more stable and less buggy. And I, I generally recommend only those if you are a beginner. But Linux Mint 15, at least XFCE for me, at least in that laptop, I haven't noticed uh, any glitches or bugs. Now, I haven't tested every single piece of software. Let me just say that your mileage will vary, as the saying goes, but I've been impressed. I still have it. I still like it, and I'm looking forward to Linux Mint uh, 16. But that being said, Linux Mint has always been designed for beginners. XFCE desktop has always been popular for a lot of Linux users who don't like Unity, uh, the way uh, GNOME Shell has progressed. You just want something simple, click and go, as I like to call it, then XFCE should be your choice. That's it. My choice 
for the perfect Linux desktop for 2013, at least for beginners, is Linux Mint 15 XFCE. Uh, another uh, Linux di distribution based on XFCE that's also very good is uh, Linux Lite. So you may want to check that also. Well, let me know if I missed anything. Uh, you may have your own favorite distribution for beginners. In fact, I'm pretty sure that you do. Post it below in the comments. Thank you for watching and listening. Thank you for three and a half years of Total OS today. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.